So the next one is using arc cosine. That's perfectly fine. But this one's negative. Now again, the reason why I did a little bit of writing there, because I wanted to make sure you understood, we're looking for an angle though, right? So we're looking for the cosine of what angle is equal to negative 1 half. So again, we have to know the unit circle. So I say, all right, when is cosine going to equal negative 1 half? Remember, cosine of an angle is the x coordinate. Well, I think it's going to be up here and down here. This coordinate point is negative 1 half, square root of 3 over 2. And this point is negative 1 half, comma, negative, square root of 3 over 2. Would you agree with me? Those are the two coordinate points on the unit circle where the x coordinate is negative 1 half. Those two points, they're on the unit circle. Now I just got to figure out, well, what angles produce those coordinate points? Well, we had this angle, 2 pi over 3, and this angle, 4 pi over 3. And if you look at your unit circle, you can verify that for those two angles, those are the coordinate points that, are, that, are, um, that they cross on the unit circle. So now I just need to say, all right, well then the cosine in, like arc cosine and negative 1 half, which one is it? Can't be both of them. It has to be one of them. But remember, cosine has restrictions, right? And it's restricted between 0 to pi. So what is the only angle that's between 0 and pi? 2 pi over 3. So the answer is 2 pi over 3. So Brandon, now that I answered a question with a lot less fluff, does that 